On this week's episode of the show, my review is in for both Klugheim at Fantasyland and Darren Brown's Ghost Train at Thorpe Park Resorts. Along with that, we've got all your questions in Ask Me Anything, anything you sent into the show and interact with me, and of course, the wonderful Merch Paradise. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. Welcome to the show. Hope you've all had a great week. It's been a really good one, actually. The sun's been shining. It's been a good time to get out to the parks. And, of course, I had an absolutely awesome weekend. I was out in Fantasyland, uh, where I went to go and see Klugheim, ride Taron and Rake, something that I've been very excited for for a couple of years now, ever since they started building those rides. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about them in News Off The Rails in just a second. I'm also going to be talking to you about Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which is, again, something I've been looking forward to for over a year, uh, ever since they announced this dark ride at Thorpe Park and construction began. I've been following it very closely and I finally got to ride it. So please be aware uh, that this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show, will include spoilers to Dan Brown's Ghost Train. I'm not going to go through the entire thing. If you have watched my vlog from Dan Brown's Ghost Train, you'll know how I talked about everything inside and revealed it all. Inside the show, I'm only going to be giving you my review and my thoughts to it. I'm not going to talk about absolutely everything to do with it, but I will be mentioning certain different aspects of the Ghost Train. So please have that in mind. Uh, but yeah, like I say, the weather's been quite quite nice for getting out to some theme parks. Now a lot of you have been tweeting in pictures of you at the parks. Uh, drop us a follow on Twitter at ThemeParkWW and of course our Facebook page. We've always had your posts coming in. Lots of different questions, lots of different photos you use at the parks. It looks like you've all had some fantastic times uh, over the past week. Let's get straight in then. Two awesome reviews we've got to share with you this week in News Off The Rails. So yes, news off the rails this week. I'm going to be sharing my reviews of the two fantastic new attractions I experienced over the weekend. Through my two brand new things of this year that I was really looking forward to more than anything and now I've done both of them it's great to see how both of them have lived up to expectations and even exceeded that in certain aspects first off then I'll talk a little bit about Klugheim uh, Klugheim's a fantastic new themed area at Fantasyland in Germany uh, it's basically home to two roller coasters and the main roller coaster is Taron an intimate multi-launch roller coaster and wow that thing's crazy it's got so much airtime, some brilliant elements to it uh, lots of different sections where it throws you to one side and then straight back to the other. Uh, the transitions in that ride are absolutely beautiful. No inversions, lots of airtime, uh, two incredible launches, and that second launch is absolutely amazing how it comes straight round into it. It's a brilliant coaster. Uh, light bar restraints uh, from Intamin. Uh, so it's, it kind of reminded me a bit like a Mac Mega Coaster, to be honest. And if you've seen the vlog, you'll know how much I love my Mac Mega Coasters. This wasn't quite the quality of those. However, it was Intamin's take on it. The restraints, the trains were better, it was a lot smoother uh, and it just genuinely felt like a really good enjoyable ride. Uh, one thing I did uh, really really enjoy about that was the amount of head choppers and near misses on that. Literally as you were going around there's so many tunnels and there's so many elements where you think oh my god you know I'm gonna hit my head or hit my arms on something. All the rock work in that area was amazing and operations was great as well. Uh, the whole three days we were there it was running on a four train service and they were pushing throughputs on that keeping the queue time down which was great. Taron sits at uh, my third favourite roller coaster, just after Shambaral and Helix. I think, you know, this coaster is amazing. They're my top three now. And yeah, the whole area of Klugheim is absolutely beautiful. It's nice to not have it based on like an IP, uh, you know, something like say, to Nickelodeon Land at Blackpool, for example. It's a unique theme. Klugheim is something the park have made themselves and made that themed area up over, which is great. Uh, you've got Rake, the Vacoma Family Boomerang. Once you've ridden one of those, you kind of ridden them all, uh, like I said in the vlog. But... This is the best one in terms of theming, and it's the longest one out there in the world as well. Uh, you know, it's really good how it's also dug down into a pit, and that's the one thing, like the whole of Klugheim and Taron, it's dug down to the massive pit, and yeah, what an absolutely astonishing ride. Um, you can just see on the screen there actually some clips uh, of myself and Lee uh, enjoying our ride on Taron there. Uh, what an amazing ride, look at that second launch, absolutely stunning, uh, and it's definitely one, if you can do, 
get yourself out here guys it's so easy uh, to go and check out that ride literally you want to fly to Cologne from Cologne it's a couple of trains and then a shuttle bus to the park it takes about an hour on public transport really easy to do uh, and like I say it's definitely worth going out to see if you can do of course, here in the UK, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, a massive ride. Uh, that, yes, it was delayed. It was supposed to open at the start of May. However, uh, it's now soft opened. It's not officially open yet by all means, so don't expect to go there and 100% get on it. But what this ride is, uh, yeah, it's a complete experience attraction. So yes, I'm going to talk a little bit about it now. I'm going to spoil it in completely. Uh, like in the vlog, I did talk about it all, uh, and I did give you an advisory about that. So if you stayed away from the vlog, um, then I hope you have a really good time the first time you ride it, you know, and then afterwards watch the vlog after you've been on it and sort of we'll compare thoughts and sort of see how you guys thought to it and what I thought. But I think it's one of the best attractions in the UK. It's the best attraction that Merlin Entertainments have ever built, in my opinion. Of course, Merlin is the company that owns Thorpe Park, Chesterton, Legoland, Alton Towers, uh, and they've done an amazing job. A massive amount of money must have been spent on that. We don't actually have a confirmed figure, but wow. It's basically a dark ride. If you're not too keen on that term uh, or unsure what it is, it's basically something what's indoors. Take Jewel, the Haunted House, Strikes Back at Alton Towers, Hex that sort of style it's an indoor ride um, you know what can either be a boat ride or a transit uh, sort of system inside it uh, however this uh, yeah and these are a few little spoilers but nothing too much like I say uh, obviously you go inside you've got the massive train carriage inside uh, but what's inside that actual train carriage uh, like the old fashioned Victorian train carriage is actually a London Underground tube train that then magically goes out of there into another scene you see a tube station you get evacuated off due to uh, basically there's fracking going on down on the London Underground and they're trying to get all this put like this gas out and things uh, and then a tube train is flying towards you in a live action scene with actors and things uh, you know and then you get back on that train uh, and see the magic again so that's a little run through of what happens but again no nothing too much there it does feature VR quite heavily uh, I'd say about 80% of its VR but the other 20% is absolutely brilliant in terms of the live action you got some good actors in there you get touched by the actors uh, lots of like air blast that sort of thing and it's a really good theatrical experience that I recommend you guys to go out there uh, and check out at Fort Park Resort if you want to know a lot more about it check out the vlog uh, it's the Darren Brown's Ghost Train Thought Park vlog which was just gone online in the past couple of days check it out and I'll talk for literally about half an hour we asked a few people what they thought and me and Lee have got a theory how we think it works so check that out but like I say only if you want 100% uh, spoilers on what actually happens inside that uh, like I say two fantastic new additions that it was great to get on uh, over the weekend really really good and like I said if you want to see what we're getting up to uh, whilst we're out there at the parks all you need to do is check out uh, our Twitter at Theme Park WW and also our Facebook page <laughs> Paradise, and you can probably guess what I'm going to share with you in this week's episode. It is, of course, some merch from Dan Brown's Ghost Train. And what I was going to show you some Tara merchandise, but the ride had not a lot at all. It's got a CD, uh, the music's by I'm a score, brilliant company. I've gone on a lot about them in the past, uh, which are great. I've bought that. However, there wasn't a mug, there wasn't anything substantial like that key ring or anything, t shirts, hoodies, none of it. But there was a little notebook uh, and the CD. So I got the CD, didn't bother with the notebook. But, of course, Darren Brown's Ghost Train has got lots of merchandise. So, first off, I've got this. It's a resin uh, with the Victorian train carriage on. There it is. Look at that. Really nice. You've got Darren Brown's Ghost Train logo at the bottom just there. And, yeah, it's a really nice sort of resin to go along with the other ones I've got. Uh, that was priced at £8. Of course, you can get your Merlin annual pass discount if you do have one of those. And then I've got a nice Darren Brown's Ghost Train uh, mug as well. Nice there. You sort of see that's raised out a little bit. A 3D mug, as I call it, where it's not just flat. It's sort of raised out, which is quite nice. Uh, again, that was £8. You get your annual pass discount, 20% if you're a Merlin Pass holder. But yeah, they're uh, really, two really nice bits of merchandise. I always say with these attractions, don't buy until you've ridden it. Like The shop opened 
before the attraction, which doesn't always happen, it's quite rare, but I, I know a lot of people went out there and bought merchandise for it before, I didn't, I wait until I've been on it and now I've bought some merchandise, so there you go, a couple of nice items from Darren Brown's Ghost Train, seriously get down there to Thorpe Park and check it out, I think it's going to officially open soon, but like I say, head down there, you might be lucky enough to get one of these rehearsals, quite consistent at the moment, there's quite a lot going on, it's been open every day for about five days in a row now, so hopefully you guys will get on it soon. Down Brown's Ghost Train. Questions, questions, questions everywhere. So it's time for Ask Me Anything. The first question this week comes from Zach, who has asked, if I could build a roller coaster, what inversions would you have in it? I love a good Cobra roll. I think they look amazing, especially over a lake. There's some amazing theming around it. So yeah, definitely a Cobra roll, a zero G roll in there, uh, maybe a serpent roll. You know, I love stuff that's a little bit different, but I love a good traditional B&M Cobra Roll. So there you go. Thank you for your question there. Uh, you've got you Gaming who has asked, do you think we'll see new, a new ride on the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory site at Alton Towers? Well, I'd like to think we will do. I think that whole area could be maybe up for a revamp soon. I mean, it, you know, it's that sort of the time for that park uh, to revamp a few areas and hopefully Charlie and the Chocolate Factory will be one of those that gets maybe a brand new dart ride on there. So we'll have to wait and see with that one and see what happens at Alton Towers. Thanks for your question. Uh, French Fries, hey, I love it, has asked, what do you think will happen to Logger's Leap? Well, I think there's a couple of things that might happen. What I'd love to see is some sort of terrain roller coaster, a bit like Maverick or even Taron all around that area, whether it be wood, Rocky Mountain construction or a steel, just some sort of terrain hooking coaster. Uh, that's what I'd like to see happen. Do I think it'll happen? Maybe so. I mean, I don't see Logger's Leap staying. I think that might get removed, but I could be wrong, but we'll soon have to see what happens there. Uh, but thank you very much for your question there. French fries, and I love French fries, so good YouTube name. Uh, and Isaac Games has asked, what would you theme Secret Weapon 8 to at Alton Towers? Well, what would I theme it to? Uh, it's got to be Mutiny Bay, hasn't it? I think, you know, if it's going to be some sort of launch wooden coaster, possibly. Uh, we know it's wood, but is it going to be launched? It looks like it could be. I don't think it's like, a, I don't know, Captain Black's Cannon Blast or something like that. Not quite as cheesy name as that. We're not in America where they do like doing cheesy names like Superman, The Escape and stuff. But I don't know. Something like that, I think, would work quite well. So hopefully it will be Mutiny Bay themed uh, with a, quite a, a nice family pirate theme. I don't want no more dark theming. Like I want a nice family, happy pirate ride where you're getting blasted out of cannon and it's all good fun, you know, not nothing too dark, nothing too serious. So thank you very much for your questions. If you've got anything you'd like to ask me, all you need to do is email in uh, ask uh, at themepartworldwide.co.uk or send it as a private message on our Facebook page. Four more questions will be picked at random for next week's show. So each week we always end the show with Interact With Me. So let's have a little look at what you guys have sent in for me this week. First off, you've got Stuart Hall, a photo there at Europa Park. Thank you for sending it in there, Stuart. you got Kerry on Velocity at Flamingo Land. There we go. Thank you very much for that. Uh, you've got Bully Middleton with a stealth on-ride photo. Love stealth. Really good coaster at Thorpe Park. And that launch is still a really good intense one for the UK. So thank you very much for sharing your photo. you got Craig who had a photo with me. Great to see you guys out there. So thanks for sharing your photo. Um, next up we've got Billy Realford with a Smiler on-ride photo, again from Alton Towers. Uh, you've got Ron Perry, a photo of his son with a 13 trophy after his first ride. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it and hopefully this will be the start of you riding many more coasters. So thanks for sharing that with me this week. You've got Brandon Conroy with a Darren Brown Ghost Train on-ride photo. Ooh, there you go. That's a little bit like what the photos look like. Uh, lots of different ones taken in the queue line and that's just an example of how they look. So there you go. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, next up, uh, you've got Luke uh, with a smiler drawing. There you go, that's really quite cool. Loving that, very artistic. And um, thanks for sharing that with me, Luke. Uh, you've got William Tedstone with a Nemesis t shirt and red in there. Loving a bit of Nemesis merch, thank you for sharing there. Uh, you got Simon Wembridge with some Fantasyland merchandise. Uh, you've had a good time out there, Simon. It was great to see you out there at the park. Uh, so thank you very much for sharing your photo. Next up, you got David with a flash pass guide. Thank you for sending that in. You got Jordan with a huge merchandise collection, a bit of a mini world of theme parks going on there. Seem to be saying that quite a bit lately, so thanks for sharing it in. And finally, you've got Owen uh, with some Thought Park merchandise. Thanks a lot for sending that in there, Owen. Happy birthdays this week go to quite a lot of people. You've got Matthew Ho, uh, Evie Pitton, Samantha Skye, uh, Leanna Kalela, uh, Catherine, Jake Benson and Jacob Craig. 
Stephen. Thank you very much and have a very, very happy birthday from all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. Now that's myself and all the different vlog stars that have appeared here on the channel. That's it then for this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. Next week we're going to be talking about even more new investments that have been announced for next year at various theme parks and of course some more news from our parks here in the UK. Thank you very much for watching. I am Sean Sandbrook. This is Theme Park Worldwide and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later guys. Thanks for watching.